Hiya guys, Spectre here. Hope you're all having a great day. Uh, now you might have seen the uh, thumbnail, which I will also um, reveal and show you guys. So um, I had to move my camera a little bit to make it fit around the text. Um, this, this is more for content creators, especially newer ones or smaller ones. Big ones will probably have some stuff to deal with as well, especially when they started out small and started working their way up. Probably still get the odd bit of shit now. I mean, everyone gets some every now and then in the YouTube comment section. But trolls these days, I've noticed, generally target more the live streamers. So particularly they're hitting places like Twitch. Um, I think Kick's getting some of it now, will do as it starts to grow. And then every now and then you do get some on YouTube. But YouTube's not as big for streaming as Twitch is and Kick's. They're more targeted at like being streaming sites where YouTube's more video content creation. In, I've, I've compiled this data myself over the last like eight months of um, being on YouTube. I, I've done YouTube almost three years in total. I did um, about a year and two months and then I went on to Twitch for five years. Um, small streamer, couple of dozen viewers at my peak, you know, nothing massive, anything like that. Um, and obviously I think because I was small, that's why you get targeted a lot by trolls. Because obviously if it's a bigger streamer who's got a chat going really, really fast, they know there's no point putting negative comment in because you're probably not even going to see it. So they class it as a waste of their time. So bigger streamers who've got fast moving chats are kind of immune to the trolls more so because they're not going to waste the time. So they usually try and tear down those content creators on things like Reddit and stuff like that instead. They attack them in different ways. But um, for smaller streamers, when your chat's like slow or there's not many people talking and they know the message can be seen for a while, that's when you'll get these assholes coming. This is an actual quote from an actual troll. And it wasn't just him, it was him and a friend of his. And basically they both had 200 accounts each. Now I'm not sure if that's completely true. I'd assume it were because over the week they started to harass me, me and my moderators must have banned 40 50 accounts between the two people now one of the things i've come to notice is that since i've been on youtube in the last eight months i have banned only four people four three from the comment section and one from a live stream when i was on twitch which bear in mind of what's bigger for streaming is an infinitely smaller platform compared to YouTube. So you would normally assume with their site being bigger, it would have more trolls on it. Now maybe it does, but I don't see them. In the same time frame by comparison, I don't see them. Maybe because I'm a small channel on YouTube and they can't really find me. Maybe I can hide like in my anonymity. Um, but usually they generally seek out small channels for that purpose. From my personal experience. But you get sad fuckers like these who, if you've gone and created 200 emails, because to have 200 switch accounts, each one of those has got to be a separate email. Or you've gone and bought 200 emails, which is even sadder. That means you're wasting real life money to buy emails so you control Twitch streamers. I mean, you've got to have zero fucking life. I mean, you must offer nothing to humanity whatsoever. They're just com the complete waste of a life. They really are at that point. It's th this. This is what they do in their spare time because they've got shitty lives and they feel down and whatever. They think that other people should be down like they are. So they come online with their own little group of gaggling morons probably from some sort of like um, chat they've got on Discord somewhere or some subreddit on on Reddit somewhere where they like gang together to like, you know, harass content creators, particularly smaller ones. Um, and obviously their overall aim is to just bring you down so they make you have a bad day. Because then when you've got a bad day, they can feel better that their days are bad anyway because they've got a shit life. Don't ever let people like these pull you down. They've got no life and they've got nothing to offer at all. Most of these people will be completely useless. 
and if they have got a job where they actually are con con like contributing to society which i'd be surprised at i would then question why are they doing this in their spare time because if they're an educated person that's doing this that's an even bigger psychological issue that that is a really big problem because they, they could potentially then be someone who probably wants to be in a padded room they're that kind of individual so don't ever let these idiots tear you down don't um and in terms of if people because on banning people on twitch is really easy really simple banning people on youtube is a little bit harder so what i'll show you now is if you ever go on to, if you go into your settings on youtube on your YouTube studio you go to community you've got managing moderators if you have any you've got your standard moderators all these awesome people here you've got approved users these awesome people here and then you've got your assholes that's these people here all you do is as it says here paste the channel url of a user to add as a hidden user you can go onto their channel and you can hit the three button thing up here on your phone or on youtube you just copy that into there when they're hidden they're basically banned for good and youtube one thing that youtube does have really really good it is much stricter when it comes to dealing with these trolls which i'll show you now this has happened to two people who have asked me in the last eight months is if they leave you a particularly nasty comment you can hide them anyway and you can move the comment yourself because when you hide a user it doesn't always get moved straight away so you better from moving it yourself but youtube will keep a record of that you can then report their channel now they probably won't have 200 youtube channels they might have 200 twitch channels but probably won't have 200 youtube ones i'd be surprised if they had some might have multiples but probably not quite that many and basically i got an email telling me that the um, appropriate action had been taken against the account and then when i went to check on the account this is what popped up so youtube will take action so if a troll comes at you now assuming they're just one of these troll ones that has an account that's got no content fair enough it might be a big loss and they might just make another one if it's one of these accounts that has had some videos in the past that has tried to do it as a content creator but failed because they've got no conviction no motivation and basically they're shit for lack of better words uh, what these people do is they fail and then when you report them because they've said something particularly nasty or if it's a threat against your life youtube take that shit really seriously that's what will happen to them they get fucking banned and rightly so so don't take shit from these people um you can report them on twitch as well but twitch i've noticed is a bit more lax considering they can't even police some of their own content creators when they're breaching their terms of service you do that on youtube and your ass is out the door so youtube's a lot less to give a fuck in terms of when you're you're breaching policies you breach policies they will make you pay for it twitch are a bit more devil may care but you can still ban them and at least that account is gone if they've got multiple accounts my advice is when you've got a couple of like trusted viewers or if you've got some family or friends that watch you from irl make them moderators so you've always got a second set of eyes especially in case like if you leave your stream to go to the toilet or get a drink and the trolls might wait for the opportune moment and jump in make sure you've got a second set of eyes and your chat always watching because just because you're not there don't mean your moderators aren't they can ban them according for you i've always got people like that in my chat i've got lots of moderators people that i trust been with me a lot of years um but people like these they've got no life nothing to offer don't ever let these people get you down not one little bit they they're a blight on the humanity on the internet they really are they serve no purpose and have no value in the world they're in terms of online they're the lowest of the low so when you're at their level you can't sink any lower so just think of that you're always going to be better than them you're always going to be above them because unless they change how they are they're never going to get any better 
they're always going to be the same shit they are. So don't let people like these get you down and discourage you. In some cases, some of these might be failed content creators who've tried it, as I've said, and not been able to make it or given up. They've lacked conviction for whatever reason. Don't let them get to you like that. I mean, even if it takes you years and years to get to where you are, keep going, keep trying. Don't let people like this try and bring you down to their level just because they couldn't make it doesn't mean that you can't. Just keep sticking to your guns, ignore these people. If you're going to be any kind of online personality, content creator, influencer, streamer, whatever, you've got to have a degree of thick skin, some mental fortitude. You have to. Now, if you're like me, when I was at school, I got bullied as a kid. For the bulk of it, most of it was verbal. Crap. It went in one ear, out the other. These guys were like a fart in the wind. They were gone just as quickly. You know, sometimes it was physical. These guys on the internet are keyboard warriors. Most of these come for a punch if their life depended upon it. They just all talk. That's why they do it on a keyboard. Because that's the only way they can do it. They're like, oh, bring this guy down. I'll, I'll, I'll tell him he's shit. Oh, you wank playing this game. And these are probably from people, bear in mind, who, in a lot of cases, don't even play games. And if they do, probably play it in easy. You know, don't let them, like, get you down or make you think that you're not worth something. Like, question your self-worth. These are the people that are worth nothing. That's why they do what they do. That's why you have losers who've got 200 Twitch accounts. That's the reason why. Because you've got people like them that go around harass streamers. And I would say 97, 98% of the time, they're going to be targeting smaller streamers with slow moving charts. They're not going to be targeting streamers 1,000 plus viewers and up. Their tracks are going to move in quite quickly. They're going to have a lot of moderators in there. They're not going to get any traction that they want. With smaller content creators that are in the hundreds, in the dozens, and definitely the single viewers, you're going to be people that are targeted by these. They're going to basically going to kick you while you're already down. Because you're already trying to make it as a content creator in a quite dense market. You know, you're trying to get your time in the spotlight so you can be seen, so your content can, you know, get out to the masses. These people want, want to stop you from getting there. They want you to think that you're never going to get your chance. They're just talking complete shit. People like these never believe a goddamn word that they say. I doubt they've spoke an honest word in their entire lives in some cases. It's, they're just the kind of people that they are. And in terms of what has more trolls, in my experience, 100% Twitch. 100%. Not even close. In eight months, as I said on YouTube, I banned four people. Three from the comments section and one from a live stream. Twitch, I was banning on average four, four or five a week. Every week. Sometimes there might be a little bit less, like two or three. But some weeks could be drastic, could be like 16 to 40 people and banning in a week. And I was a small content creator. Now that might be the reason I was targeted, but that's a lot of difference. And that's per week. On Twitch, I was, I was always banning people every week. Even on the low side, if it was like three or four. I was banning that every week. YouTube, I've gone months without having to ban anyone. So, take that as it may. If you're choosing where to make content, obviously it depends on what type of content you want to make. If you want to be a streamer, rather than a video content creator, then maybe you would be better looking at something like Kick or Twitch. Kick might be a better option as it's growing, that sort of thing. And if Amazon ever let go of Twitch, Twitch is going to fall apart very, very quickly because they're not going to, they're not making a profit. So it depends on, their, their livelihood depends upon Amazon. 
if Amazon let go of them, it then only depends on if another company picks Twitch up. Otherwise, Twitch won't last long. The only reason it is at the moment is because Amazon can absorb the cost quite easily. But whether Amazon want to in the future, there's a different story. Because at the end of the day, if you've got part of your business that's always making a loss, is that a part of your business you really want to keep? It's like having a gangrenous arm. You don't want to keep it just because you've always had it. You know, sometimes you just need to cut it off and get rid of it, throw it away. So I think that's where Twitch is heading towards. I don't see it being here for the long run. Where YouTube being owned by Google and then Google being owned by Alphabet, some of the richest commercial entities on the planet, YouTube's going to be around for a long, 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 long time to come. But YouTube is better for your video content. But if someone like Twitch ends up leaving the content creation space, leaves a massive vacuum. Now, Kick is on the rise, but YouTube could also take a lot of that market. So think about what content you want to make. If you want to be more streaming side, maybe. But if you like doing your videos primarily, definitely go to YouTube. And you'll avoid a lot of the trolls. You will still get some. You will always get some. But a lot less. A hell of a lot less. And in some cases, some of the games that I was streaming on Twitch, I didn't follow trends. I streamed what I wanted to stream when I wanted to stream it. Sometimes they were smaller games. Normally you're not going to get persistent trolls that will scroll. Somehow I did. Sometimes I would be on some of the bigger games, but then there's more people to scroll through and stuff like that. But they will still find you, but just prepare yourself when they do. Have thick skin and just be quite, quite trigger happy with that ban button. Ban them as you need. Don't take the shit. Don't take any crap from them. They're nothing special. They're a dime a dozen. And they're a complete waste of space. Don't ever let these people influence what you do. And I hope this has been a help to some. Educational to others. And I will catch you guys all in the next video. Take care everyone and have a nice day.